everybody has dreams of their own. We have dreams, you have dreams, and guess what? Even footballers have dreams. And for many of them, those dreams are in the form of wanting to play for certain clubs. However, most of these footballers don't get their wish and only a few of them end up playing for the clubs they want. But then there's the small fraction of players who get to play for the clubs they dreamt of representing. In this video, we'll be talking about some of these players. So here are 10 footballers who got a chance to play at their childhood dream clubs. Number one, Harry Kane. You know the story of Harry Kane, don't you? And how he was a member of the Arsenal Academy but got released from that academy after a year because they considered him too fat? Yeah, yeah, we're sure you know that. Bet you probably thought he was an Arsenal fan too, but guess what? He wasn't. He was actually always a Spurs fan while growing up and wanted to play for them. Pretty surprising, right? Well, it's possible that this was because he grew up just 15 minutes away from the Spurs ground. And well, most of his family members were Spurs fans as well. So guess he didn't have many other options. The man probably even grew up disliking Arsenal as well, especially after they let him go. Little wonder why he just loves to score against them. Number two, Frankie de Jong. Let's face it, Barcelona were a big club even around the time he was growing up, and watching the team's dominance, especially under Pep, is enough to make any young footballer want a taste of that action. Yet, even if you're somewhere in the Netherlands, like Frankie was. So imagine how happy he must have been when he finally joined the club in 2019 in that big move. Since then, he has gone on to do pretty well for the club too, and it seems he wants to do even more. And that's why, when Manchester United came calling this summer, he quickly turned down the move. Guess it'd take more than just an offer to draw him away. Number 3. Trent Alexander-Arnold Not sure many people would be surprised by this, because when you look at him in a Liverpool shirt, you can almost tell he has always been a fan of the club. Now, we're not sure how to explain it, but there's just something about him that makes you go, yeah, he's definitely Liverpool through and through. No kidding, he has actually been supporting the club for many years and believe it or not, he also used to attend games even at Anfield at a young age. He had posters of Michael Owen and Steven Gerrard in his room. Well, guess this may just be the reason why he always looks like he was made for that red shirt. And the way things look, he's not leaving the club anytime soon. Number 4. Rafinha If you ever had any doubts about how much Rafinha loves FC Barcelona, then we're sure the events of this transfer window have cleared away those doubts. We mean, this man literally stalled the transfer move to Chelsea, even though they had already agreed a transfer fee with Leeds United. Now, this was despite the fact that Barcelona had financial problems and there was a high chance that they wouldn't even have been able to fund the transfer. No kidding. This man's dreams of playing for the club were so strong, it helped him conjure some incredible belief in their ability to fund the deal for him, even when it looked unlikely. He did eventually get his wish, as they somehow found a way to fund the deal. And now he's gone on to play a few games for the team and even had a dream debut where he scored against Real Madrid. Number 5. Erling Haaland You see, Erling Haaland's father played for Manchester City. Yes, that's right, but wait, you're not surprised to hear that, are you? Because, well, we've already kind of mentioned that in at least one other video on this channel, so guess this is a sign from the universe that you need to go check out all our other videos when you're done with this one. Okay, seriously now, you should check them out. They're all awesome. Anyways, back to Haaland and his love for Man City. Okay, we haven't actually mentioned that Haaland always dreamt of playing for Man City, have we? Well, it's right, he did. And he was also a fan of the club and used to go to the stadium to watch matches. Now he has the chance to play in their stadium and get loads of goals for them. Hopefully he's able to do that and do so for many years to come. Number 6. Oleksandr Zinchenko After he signed for Arsenal this summer, pictures emerged of him wearing the club's jersey as a young boy. He revealed that he always dreamed of playing for the club and watched them while growing up. He also said that he enjoyed watching players like Fabregas and the man himself, Thierry Henry. Ok, seriously, there are probably hundreds of footballers right now who support Arsenal just because of Henry and many of them probably dream of playing for the club as well, even though they haven't qualified for the Champions League in like 5 years. Looks like that man's juice isn't running dry anytime soon, and he may keep putting players to the club. Number 7. Marcus Rashford While growing up, he must have witnessed the English dominance of Man United under Sir Alex Ferguson, and even at a young age, he already had dreams of putting on the famous red jersey of the senior Red Devils. A few years later, he finally fulfilled those dreams as he made his debut for the club at the age of 18. 
Unfortunately, things haven't gone as well as he must have hoped as the club have been struggling a great deal since then. So he finds himself needing to constantly apologize to the fans. Well, one thing is for sure, when he dreamt of playing for this club, writing this many apology notes to fans wasn't part of the dream. Number eight, Ferran Torres. While growing up in Spain, he dreamt of playing for Barcelona, but that didn't look likely to come true because he spent his childhood and youth career at Valencia. And when it was finally time to leave Valencia, it wasn't Barcelona who came calling, but Man City. After a relatively unsuccessful spell at City, he finally got his dream move to Barcelona earlier this year, and we're certain he must have been absolutely thrilled when that interest came in. Hopefully he goes on to do big things for the club. Number 9. Conor Gallagher He is just one of Chelsea's academy graduates who always had dreams of playing for the club, but not many of them ever get to do that. You see, the usual career path of many, if not most of Chelsea's academy graduates in the past decade usually involves multiple loans to other clubs before eventually getting sold. Yep, many of them sign contracts but don't ever get to play for the club. But under Frank Lampard, they had that transfer ban and were forced to give opportunities to academy graduates like Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount. And it seems Gallagher is the latest graduate to break into the first team. Of course, this didn't come easily. He had to prove himself on loan at Crystal Palace last season, but now he's back and has already featured in pre-season matches and we can't say it's not deserved. What a way to fulfill your dreams. Number 10, Eduardo Camavinga. There are many players around the world who dream of playing for Real Madrid and why wouldn't they? They're arguably the most successful European club. However, not many players actually get to fulfill their dream of playing for the club. Camavinga is one of the players who have always dreamt of playing for the club and luckily for him, he got his chance last season when they came calling. Now, although he didn't get to start many games last season due to the presence of Modric and Kroos, he would be hoping to play a lot more this season. And with the long-term contract he signed last year, it's really looking like he'll get to play a whole lot of matches for the club in his career. Okay, we've said a whole lot, so now over to you. Are there any other players like this that you know of? Do share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. And if for some crazy reason you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then what on earth are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get more cool videos like this one. Catch you later. Bye bye.